Hey guys, Mark you here. Today I'm so excited to share you guys this new phone, Xiaomi 14T Pro, a phone that I've been waiting for so long. So I've been using this phone for only a few days, but I noticed there are a few new improvements on this 14T Pro over last year, 13T Pro. So far so good, I like this improvement. But of course, the full review will be later until I fully test out this new flagship killer. But before that, let's do a quick unboxing. As some of you might notice during some leak online that the box for the 14T Pro has shrunken. Yes, the suspicion is correct. It's indeed thinner. I have the 30T Pro box here. So as you can see, it's much more thinner, but it's wider than the 30T Pro. So let's open inside and see. Yep, there's no charger included in the box this time, but in Malaysia, if you pre-order the 14T series phone, which the pre-order started last week, you still get a free 130 watt hypercharger for free. So if you all feel like buying this phone, better do it now to get a free charger. So the rest is actually the typical soft case, documentation, as well as the type C to USB A cable, and there's no more. Firstly, it's the build quality. Two main things I want to point out. First is that we are finally getting aluminum frame, which feel more premium in the hand. I'm sure all of us T-Series users have been wanting this for so many years since it's missing since the 11 T-Series. Well, this time it's complete now. You have aluminum frame back on the 14T Pro, as well as the screen bezel is even smaller. You can hardly notice the bezel surrounding the screen. So it's more noticeable when you place a 13T Pro side by side. Can you guys see the difference? Wow, it looks even more premium this time. Talking about AMOLED screen, it's still the same 6.67 inch size compared to last year. 144 hertz high refresh rate. But this time the maximum brightness has been bowed out from 2600 nits to 4000 nits, making it much more visible under bright sunlight. And for your eye comfort, the screen now also support higher PWM dimming at 3840 hertz. In comparison to last year, 2880Hz of PWM dimming. At the back, I like that it is matte finish this time, which is in contrast to last year 14T Pro, which is a fingerprint magnet. So I hope that old phones now should have matte finish from now on. And this year, for the first time, the 14T Pro finally support wireless fast charging, 50 watt. By the way, it supports also the same 130 watt fast wire charging and still it has 5000 mAh battery size. No change. Chipset wise, it's MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus. Over last year, Dimensity 9200 Plus. So from the Antutu score, you guys can roughly gauge the improvement over last year processor. It's quite near to Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, okay, for, for this. Dimensity 9300 Plus, but I will have to test it out longer on the gaming performance in my full review. This year, Xiaomi also worked hand in hand with Leica to bring you great optic performance. Camera wise, 15 megapixel main camera, 15 megapixel telephoto lens, and 12 megapixel ultrawide lens. So this year, the camera can zoom up to 30x. In comparison to last year 20x zoom on the 13T Pro.
And lastly, the 14T Pro also have dual stereo speakers, which are powered by Dolby Atmos. Do check it out, guys. The Xiaomi 40T Pro so far really giving me good impression, good vibe with the build quality and the camera performance. But I will still need to test out this phone furthermore and share with you all during the full review. Let me know if you have any question. Until then, take care and stay safe. Peace guys.